Hi guys, Dave here. Dave's Model Railroad. Uh, sorry it's been so long since my last posting, but I uh, had some health issues, some family issues, uh, but hopefully I can be back now and getting this stuff up and ready to go. And as you can see, we have an opening and a review of some Scale Trains products. Let's see what we got in the box. their lovely packing paper. We have JB Hunt 53 foot CIMC dry container 3 pack. We also have a Schneider 30th anniversary but that's already been opened. We have Walmart dry container. We have Amazon Prime dry container. Another Amazon Prime dry container. And uh, another Walmart dry container. We also have Trinity 31K gallon crude oil tank car deep rock refining company. We will be opening these. We also have another 31 gallon crude oil crude oil tank car Philip 66 company. And we also have another 31 gallon 31 gallon crude oil tank car SMBC rail service. And of course the famous scale trains candy. And last but not least, we have GE CW 44 AC CXT number 391 Spirit of Dante YN2 scheme as delivered. Be right back. Okay, we're back. And now we're going to all the 53 foot containers are all the same. Uh, we're just going to, because I had the Schneider ones open, we're going to. Uh, Look at the Schneider. Now as you can see, along the bottom, it has the safety striping. It has Schneider's 30th anniversary with the placards. And then over here, it has Schneider. Come around to the back. Let me see if I can get this a little bit better. Zoom in a little bit more on this. Okay, we have Schneider. We have nice detail on the bars for opening the doors. We have our placards. We have all our identification labels going across the back. All the placards that are needed. And on the other side, The other side is the same as the opposite side, just this side doesn't have the 30th anniversary. We have Schneider, the container number, the safety striping. And on the front side, we have Schneider, our placards, all our identification labels. Now, the, the features on these are their uh, early 2000s to present. There are 53 foot length containers, 9 feet 6 inches tall, squared sidewall configuration, 
one three one door configuration. The, they're they're pretty good in, in, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, mine just sit on the table, all stacked up high. Now I did wanted to do one thing. I wanted to compare it to this one here is a this next one I'm putting down. This white one is Class One Model Works. Uh, let me put them the same way. Okay. So now, let's. Um, the, the white one is Class One, and the orange tan one is Scale Trains. You can see here, the, these are the ribs. It has the Union Pacific. It also has the container numbers, the placards. This one here says 48 feet on both sides, Union Pacific. There are no placards on this side. Except for this, there is no safety striping. In the back here, we can, let me zoom out a little bit. On the back here, we can see scale trains has a lot more detail, a very lot more detail. This, it has the bars for the doors. Just this for an identification label, where as you can see on the scale trains, it has one, two, four draw bars on the door, just like, but it also has the placards, the identification labels. Uh, there's a little bit more detail on the scale trains than there is the class one model works. Um, for myself, the nod on this would have to go to scale trains. Okay, let's go to the tank cars. Okay, and we're back. Okay, we're gonna do the unboxing of the Trinity 31K gallon crude oil tank car, Deep Rock Refining Company, and this is in the rivet counter. Of course, it's in its blister. It's nice blister pack. Um, it comes with four extra roller bearings. I don't know if you can see them, but there's four roller bearings in there. We get a nice, detailed road road name and road number specific, as always with scale trains. Nice parts exploded view. And then here's your parts list. Now I just have to figure out how they have this blister pack. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I want to do it easy so the car don't go flying. These are going to be on my oil refinery area on the way out. And of course they have it taped. That's why I am struggling. There we go. Okay, now, get it open on the other side. Sorry guys, I should have did this off camera, but now you can see what's involved in opening it up. Okay. Nicely packaged in its bubble wrap. Remove the plastic that they have covering it. Okay. Now we have the nice end bar, as you can see. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. We 
we have our road markings our placard markings we have photo etched walkways metal handrails separately applied separately applied grab irons coupler cut lever the traditional KD um, knuckles separately applied steps and as you can see here in the top we also have the number of the tank on the top the car on the top turn around to this side we have our safety stripes steps we have nice uh, piping nice metal piping looks fairly straight the step ladder there's no walkways up here but you do see we do have the no you can't see we do have the handrails for the trainmen the covers car number safe uh, identification marks all the way across a placard car number and identification another placard on that side this side the same thing as on the other end just on the other end we have the brake wheel we have the, the knuckle the coupler cut lever separately applied grab irons once again nice straight metal handrail on this side we're the same as the other side with the car number the safety stripes the ladder to get up our markings our placards on the bottom side we have very nice detail on all the piping going underneath we have a we have metal wheels I do not know if the the roller bearings do not turn which they're here yeah like I said you get four extra ones now I went down to the layout and when I first decided I wanted to go with a oil refinery area I went on scale trains of course and I wound up getting an operator 31k crude oil tank car and it is also in the deep rock refining company so I figured what I would do is I'd get that and we can see the difference in the detail that you get from an operator to a rivet counter and I did not do any modifications to it so back this up just a little bit this one here is the operator and this one is the rivet counter as you can see pretty much we have the same we have our markings here and here we have our placards okay this one has the see-through walkway just like on on the rivet counter but as you notice as I turn it we'll stop it right here here on the rivet counter we have the grab irons we have a cup a coupler cut lever on the rivet counter we do not have that we do not have the grab iron for coming up on the step we do have our piping coming from the back to under the we do have our ladder okay going up to the top we do have our safety stripes and our markings come around to this end the ends are pretty much the same once again except here you can see we have a grab iron no grab iron grab irons no grab irons no coupler cut lever we do have the shield we do have the brake wheel we do have the placards we do have the numbers on the top we also have 
the piping on the bottom just like on the rivet counter so there's not too too much of a difference i think personally between the two um unless you really get down and scrutinize it I wouldn't be able to tell the difference where it sits on my layout. I wouldn't be able to tell you which one's my rivet counter and which one is my operator. Uh, once again, hands off to scale trains. I am not sponsored by them in no way, shape, or form. Uh, I just like their product. And that'll do it for now. And once I can get back down to the layout, which should be in a week or so, I will do a unboxing and review on the CSX engine that came in this shipment. So guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any additional information you guys can give me, leave in the comments. I try to answer them as fast as I can. Uh, sometimes work gets caught up. Uh, I have a 14 hour a day job, so it gets tough to always look at the uh, emails every single day. Oh. That's it for Dave's Model Railroad for now. Once again, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you and have a great day.